Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. The first episode of Wolf Among Us is by the creators of The Walking Dead. As many know, I was a pretty big fan of those games last year, and I was excited to get a chance to actually play this. With the first episode, we get introduced to, I believe it's called Bugby? Bugby? I always get his name wrong, I'm sorry. He's the sheriff of Fable Town, and you're trying to find out the secrets behind the murders of a certain someone. Similar to The Walking Dead, the game insists on giving you a lot of talking options, making choices, doing some quick time events, and of course searching for clues seeing as you are a sheriff. So, is Wolf Among Us, is, is it just as good as The Walking Dead series, or are we just gonna get another Jurassic Park type game here? The story is obviously the main highlight here. Bugby, hopefully I'm saying his name right, Bigby? I always get his name, Bigby? Anyway, is an awesome character, but the whole cast is what really brings this game to life. From Toad to Snow, you really get to know these characters, and whether you read the comics or not, you're still going to actually enjoy learning about them. I've read a good portion of them years ago, but the game has no problem drawing you into the universe, teaching you about it, and then trying to find out the murderous bastard who is killing our Fable Town people. The gameplay is similar to The Walking Dead, but more emphasis on collecting clues. You want to figure out what the hell is happening at certain scenes, but sometimes you have to gather all the clues in the room or from other sections of the game to make the right choices, otherwise you might not have somebody on your side. Or dead, actually. So, if you're thorough on your searches, it's pretty cool and you get extra little things along the way and it definitely feels more like a detective game in this game, which is something that, you know, Walking Dead didn't have, but you wanted to make sure it was in the game where you're playing as the sheriff. The graphics are great, really sucking you into the world, and I gotta say I enjoyed all the different places I got to explore. The graphics are definitely a real highlight of the series. The quicker and more action-paced fight scenes are also fun, especially the chase scenes. They run smooth for the most part, and some great fight scenes in terms of how they actually look and are shot. So I really enjoyed them in this game. The bad are the slowdowns and glitches. You'll get stuck sometimes, the screen will slow down for a moment or two before it picks back up, and it sucks during these cool ass chase scenes. The other bad thing would be, while there's some cool quick time events, uh, the movements aren't always that great so the action can't keep up. My only ugly feature is definitely the freezes. This game froze on me four times on the PS3 version, and that's just not acceptable, especially nowadays. It's an ugly feature and definitely needs to be mentioned, because it could send you back over 15 or even 20 minutes of gameplay. Overall, despite the glitches and freezes, I actually really enjoyed my time with this adventure. For five bucks, I had a blast. I love the story, it drew me in right away too. I can't wait to see what happens in episode two, especially with the choices I actually made in this game. I give this title a very solid eight, and I think it's a great way to start off the new series. Go tell, 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 well, tally, tell, I woo. That's my song. Number two. There was a time where once I was king of the underground, but I still rap like I'm on my pharaoh munch grind. So I crunch rhymes, but sometimes when you come by, up here with the skin color off mine, you get too big and it comes trying to censor you like that one line I said. On the back from the Mathers LP1 when I tried to say I'll take seven kids from Columbine, put them all in a line at an AK-47, a revolver and a nine. See if I get away with it now that I ain't as big as I was.